evening and welcome to the Author Spotlight. My name is Aurelia Wynn. I'm the owner and operator of Wynn Publications. Um, if you don't mind introducing yourself, um, telling us a little bit about you, what you do, do full time, and where you are from. Okay. Uh, name is, uh, pen name is D.L. Blackburn. Um, full time, like, for a living, I do. I'm an artist. But um, I recently just got into publishing in the last few years. And uh, it, it just as another form of a creative outlet, uh, just reading some interesting books and, you know, mm. as it's something to do on a bucket list, I thought I'd get into some literature, right, trying my hand at it. Nice. Okay. So then let's go ahead and talk about, uh, wait, did you say where you're from? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that part. I'm actually from Connecticut, and I've lived all over the country. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. So then, yeah, let's talk about your book. What is it about? Uh, what genre does it relate to? Okay, I guess the genre would be uh, general fiction. I mean, it's a, it's. I, I aimed it at the young adults, but you know, there's some words in there that I, I've been told that are not that are a little more advanced. So it could be, I mean, it's, it, the theme, the theme is for, for, I think it's for, not for young children, but, mm -hmm. you know, the, the, the way the characters are, they would, it, they would find it appealing, I guess, if it was in another format, um, mm -hmm. in the future, a, a cartoon, a movie, it could be, but for general, I guess general fiction, mm -hmm. uh, young adults and, uh, adult fiction. Mm -hmm. Nice. So what's it called? The uh, book is called Off This Pool, and it's a part, of, it's a series, and it's, uh, the first one that's out is, uh, came out uh, late November last year, and it's, uh, Off This Pool Orientation, because, you know, it's, uh, first, it's just actually the life of, uh, Penn, its first day at work, you know, mm -hmm. ironically, in all of this. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, it's it's basically what it's about. It, it how he kind of makes his way up. He kind of makes his way up the ladder. Uh, he starts off as uh, middle class, and uh, he has aspirations of you know being more successful and just being more proactive and you know not drifting throughout life. Mm -hmm. And he along the way he meets some other pens and. Mm. He's taken from a unique perspective, but uh, he's got humans in the backdrop, kind of like a Pixar-ish type of uh, element there, where the humans kind of uh, transport the pens to different floors and different levels and different classes in life. And it, that, that's how it's, that's the kind of uh, thing I was shooting for, was to kind of mm -hmm. uh, tell, uh, portray, uh, classism and, you know, mm -hmm. those kind of characteristics through the eyes of a pen, you know, wow. they, they go through the same things we go through. Yeah. Oh, wow. How interesting. Where, so where did you come up with this idea? Um, I, I guess just, it happened by accident, you know, through, mm. you know, osmosis, I guess, by, you know, being in and around pens my whole life and drawing and art and stuff. Um, and I think on one day, you know, I just an off day, I took a look at, I was looking at one of the pens I was holding, and it's kind of like, you know, this random pen, you know, was, how did it get to where, you know, mm -hmm. where, you know, the point from where it got to my hand, and, you know, it mm -hmm. surely has a story, because it's kind of, it's kind of, you know, scarred and beaten and battered, so, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Yeah. At first, I was like, is he saying pen? Like a pen? And you yeah. kept saying, I was like, okay, yeah, you say pen. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I, I, uh, I, when I thought about it, I was just kind of like, um, yeah, that's kind of a crazy idea. <laughs> it was even crazier, I guess, to, to write it. I wrote the first few chapters, and then I was just like, it could work, but I don't want to spend all this time writing it. If it you know, yeah. so I bounced it off. I, I bounced the idea off of like a couple friends and stuff. And mm -hmm. you know, you got some friends that'll say, "Yeah, yeah, it's great." But yeah. I went to the friends that kind of shoot down everything. You mm -hmm. know, that say, "No, <laughs> don't do that, though." And they 
all, you know, they all kind of like, oh, that's kind of a clever idea if you can make it work. Mm-hmm. So I, I just kind of, um, I worked on trying to get it to, to make it work, and I had different levels to it, you know, um, mm-hmm. you know, different classes to it. And I used, I wanted to have humans in the background so that you can kind of go in between uh, the humans, the, the what they're doing in the background, mm-hmm. and uh, the actual pens in the uh, foreground, which were the main characters, which it fluctuates back to, back and forth. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, but it's it's like you said. I mean, like we got some reviews backward. You know, even when I'm, people tell you they ask you what it's about, and they say pens, they kind of go silent because they're kind of like, well, where would you go with that? <laughs> but, but, like, I, I I totally understand. You know, because you know. You gotta, you gotta check. I, I, I wanted to make sure I was saying why, right now too, kind of, cause it's kind of, it's kind of crazy. But, mm-hmm. um, I, I, the people who did read it, you know, they, mm-hmm. they found it enjoyable, which I thought was pretty good. Uh, good, I've gotten good feedback from it, which makes me happy that I didn't waste a year and a half or two years on a concept that's not <laughs> enjoyable for at least somebody. Yeah. Oh wow, that's and that's super creative. I'm like, wow, okay. You know, it's so funny. It made me think of so. It's been a few years. I took a creative writing class, and that was one of our instructions was to uh, kind of personify in an object and like give it a life and give it a story. And so to hear that someone has actually done that and published a book about it I'm like wow that's hey that's cool yeah. okay yeah I, uh, yeah I mean you know cause reading poetry and you know some people give a they give a rose of personalities you know, mm-hmm. a rose with, with and dealing with uh, I don't know heartbreak or disappointment or something and I mean, yes, I mean, I, that analogy doesn't work that well because roses are actually alive, but mm-hmm. you, you get my point. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, but, yeah, just, it was just an idea that I, I thought, you know, let me see how far I can take it. And, mm-hmm. you know, once you have a, a, a few personalities to a few of the pens and um, just office supplies, you know, it's kind of, it kind of wrote itself toward toward, you know, toward mm-hmm. the middle, you know, getting toward the middles. It got to be kind of, uh, got, got to be kind of fun because you kind of, you can see parallels between, uh, you know, their world and our world, you know, mm-hmm. which I, I found to be very, very interesting. And I'm not saying that just because I wrote it, you know, mm-hmm. but, um, yeah, I mean, I, I think that's always been fascinating to me is, um, uh, where people come from, you know, mm-hmm. um, and how, how we're all different, but at the same time, we grow up different, we're in different countries, eat different foods, different mm-hmm. nationalities, but we end up working together and making uh, amazing things together, you know, mm-hmm. it's kind of like, a, you know, as a collective, so mm-hmm. it's, it's the same concept, I think. Okay. Nice. So then what was your toughest challenge that you faced, um, with this book or just overall in becoming an author? Okay, that's a good question. I think um, actually calling myself an author or actually, you know, um, I would I would say, you know, uh, writing, because, I, 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 you know, I, I know there's people who have to, you've been doing the craft for far longer than I have. Mm-hmm. And, uh, like I said, I'm just kind of learning my way and, and just reading and trying to feel, you feel, you know, you get to a point where you feel, uh, you know, you're just trying to pay your dues. Mm. So I think I'm getting to the point where, you know, even in the po- my first few podcast uh, interviews, I was, you know, press I was doing for the book, mm-hmm. you know. I wasn't comfortable, but I, I think I'm feeling more comfortable, which I can say about the, you know, the writing community has been pretty mm-hmm. welcoming. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, they've definitely been pretty welcoming. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So just um, 
maybe just it, I don't I don't know how would you like sum it up I guess what I'm hearing you say like it was just kind of difficult to even wear the hat but, but you made it you did it you did it oh, well, yeah, yeah yeah I guess yeah I, I guess the difficulty yeah because you know mm-hmm. I'm thinking of three different things at, at one time uh, I, I guess the toughest thing for me uh writing was uh I guess, you know, once you got, you've got the concept out there and you're, you're writing it, you know, mm-hmm. to actually kind of finish it because I, I wanted to, you know, you have this, it, it grew into a big idea and, um, you know, you have people kind of knowing that you're, you spent a year and a half on it and then you run until you hit a wall mm-hmm. and you don't really know how to round it up or finish it. Yeah. And you, but, but you know you have to finish it already. I mean, the last thing you want to do is have it sit on the shelf, you know, because mm-hmm. that's a year and a half of your life just, you know, kind of going into the ether. So, yeah, I would just say, you know, the mm-hmm. short answer would be finishing, you know, what I uh, actually started and having something that, you know, you feel confident enough that the public could consume. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I think a lot of people can relate and sometimes even me I've been working so I've been working on a book for about six years <laughs> and, I just, and I keep putting it down and picking it up and putting it down and I'm like okay I got I gotta get it out this year so I I definitely can get understand that finishing what you've started especially after putting all that work and time and everything into it it's just like okay just get it down yeah yeah okay so then what advice or lessons can you offer to other writers um to other writers i would say uh you know the days that you don't you know days or you know it turn into a week where you, you you haven't written, you know. I think that's, I, I mean, we're not, not new, but this is from my perspective. I think right when you can, some people, I, I hear, you know, from other people that they say you're supposed to write every day and work counts and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I guess, you know, everybody works different, you know. Me being left-handed, I've never worked the way everybody else works. Mm-hmm. The way I work is, you know, I kind of, when it, when it comes to me, then it comes to me. And I don't, I don't take phone calls. I don't let anybody interrupt me. You know, I just, I just go until the, until the well is dry. Mm-hmm. Uh, or until, you know, I'm tired. But the days that you're, you're not writing, I think it's okay. You know, mm-hmm. um, you know, you don't have to, you don't really have to worry about it. You know, it'll, it'll, it, it's in there somewhere and it, and it makes its way out, you mm-hmm. know, eventually. Yeah. Okay, that's definitely some word of encouragement because I think that takes the pressure off of a lot of people about just, you know, hey, it's okay, you know, because, yeah, there there are people that say, write every day, carve out, of, you know, time and get in and do all this stuff, and it can be a lot of pressure. Have you feeling like, oh, my gosh, and then it becomes something yeah. that's not really enjoyable. And yeah, I I, I think you're right. You, mm-hmm. you definitely would get into trouble, you know, um, looking at uh, other people's pace or what they're producing. Mm-hmm. You know, we all, like I said, we all work different. And if I worked like that, I'd be in a lot of trouble. You know, I, I see, you know, uh, other writers, they're writing epics, you know, these, uh, uh, these volumes of work. And, you know, here I come out with a short story. You know, mm-hmm. pens, you know. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, uh, you know, you, you kind of grit your teeth, but, you know, at the same time, it's like, you know, if you put your thought and you put your heart into it, and it, you know, like I said, it, it really, it really, it, it's a story that hasn't been told before, certainly not from that perspective. I mm-hmm. mean, from, from what I know. And, uh, yeah, I, I think, you know, I'm, I'm just getting comfortable with it, but like other other writers, mm-hmm. you know, just tell your story is what I could, all I could say. Yeah, absolutely. So then, a couple more questions. Uh, my next question is, what are your top three things that keep you going? Like, whenever you have felt like you wanted to stop or you started questioning, um, what, what are some things that kept you going? Um... I would 
say right off the bat, number one would be my, my children. Mm-hmm. Uh, number two is uh, past past failures. You know, I've, I've had past failures. And, mm-hmm. You know, that pile is large enough. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'd like to add, I'd like to add to the success pile. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and just you know, completing something. You know, uh, you know I've, I've completed stuff in the past, and I mean, it's kind of like number two, where you kind of just and it was a challenge to write. You know, writing is a totally different animal. You're kind of using 20, 26 characters, and you're arranging them in a way to tell a totally unique story. Mm-hmm. You know, and uh, I, I find that really, really fascinating. You know, um, having never written before, and I, I just, I just, you know, I want to move, being moved by other people's work. And I said, you know, I, I do want to give that a try. Mm-hmm. When this was years ago, but I didn't have, I had to have a story to tell, mm-hmm. and you know, it came from that idea, of course. Well, hey, you know what? It has been such a pleasure talking to you. Is there anything else that you would want to share or offer to the community? Um, other than that, you know, it's available. Office Pool is mm-hmm. available. You know, on Amazon. You know, look for the sequels that are coming out later in the year. Uh, that's basically it. Um, nice. I, I enjoyed. I enjoyed being a guest on the show. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much.